Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Synthwave Man, and we're here today with another video for some more Minecraft Beta 1.7. And we're going to start off by going back here to where all these lovely houses are. And I'm going to point out something that needs to be done. Aside from trying to build a trade school. Look at this. Look at this. It's an absolute eyesore. And I believe we need to fill it up. But how are we going to do that, you may ask? Well, we're going to put a couple of new houses in. That's what we're going to do. And I think that's a good idea because we really do need to add more houses to this area in particular. There could probably be one here, but that has not really been planned out thoroughly yet. But these two areas are already prepared. It's like a frozen pizza. All you gotta do is put it in the oven and it's ready. So, I got some blocks of choice here. I'm gonna go ahead and get them out here. And this is the first one. This is oak wood. We got cobblestone, spruce log, or spruce wood really because there's no spruce wood planks. Which I don't even know what that is. If that was the case, that'd be really cool. But, we also have holy stone. Holy stone's a pretty good option too. So we got four of those blocks. And those four blocks we're going to use to build some, uh, or a couple of lovely houses. Not some lovely houses, but a couple. Because we're only going to really be building two. So, let's go ahead and get started. The first one I'm going to be wanting to do would be kind of small. So I'm going to go with oak wood first. Make sure it's even. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Right there. And here. Alright. Now we're going to approach this house a little differently. I'm going to use cobblestone instead. Because we've not really used cobblestone yet on our other builds. I mean, we have, but that's mainly for the roof. And we've only used carved stone and holy stone. Carved stone we can get from the bronze dungeon in the Aether. As seen here on this house, along with skyroot wood. Which is a really cool block, but it doesn't really work a lot of the time when it's planks. Only like the logs because they look rustic. So let's go ahead and build this part. And let's go over here and build this part or the third wall. But then there is going to be a fourth wall. But now the question is, it was where the where's the door going to go? Where's the door going to go? It's going to go right here. We're going to make it right there. I think it'll be fine right there. Okay. Now, the best part about all of this I wonder if you can make slabs out of holy stone. Let's go look. No, we cannot. Well, that's another constraint for us to overcome, it seems like. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's place. Oh, well, that didn't mean to do that. Oh, what? <laughs> Hold on, let me take that off. Okay, there we go. Now we can be <laughs> building peace. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and chatter a little bit and talk about some things that does need some work in my videos. Because I've noticed that, again, I do tend to have a dead voice, sound very monotone, and I've noticed. And whenever I get in like 10, 15 episodes, I, I always end up sounding like I'm lethargic, I'm drained, or just flat out dead like I just said. But still... <laughs> We need to improve that. I don't want to seem like some ghost in a shell <laughs> have no expression in my voice. So that's <laughs> I'm going to do that. Even though I like flopped just earlier and I stubbed my toe in the process. But anyways, I'm going to try to improve my overall attitude towards video content creation. Because if I'm going to be doing content... Alongside the fact that I'm going to trade school, I, I don't want to sound dead to those who watch my videos. Now, some might like it that way. They may like the 
laid back voice, but some may be driven away from it, and I can understand that. I'm thinking that maybe we could just make the entrance like extend out this way, but I kind of like this, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. And I need some torches, even though I really only have one. <laughs> we only have one torch. Yeah, that's that's gonna really <laughs> work. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's gonna totally work. That's gonna keep the mobs away. I don't know. Does it look okay? Not too sure. We'll have to get a door and stuff. Which there's a crafting table over here actually. Let me go ahead and make a door really quickly. The pig gets a pass though. The pig gets a pass. If it, if if it's not a cow, if it's not a cow, it's fine. Or if it's not a cow or a sheep, we're good. Chickens aren't really that much of a problem, but cows and sheep are like the bane of my existence. I cannot stand it when they moo or bat in my ears. It kills me. They are so obnoxious and they have absolutely no respect for Synthwave Man when he is talking. Today is such an odd day for me. So... I'm just building these houses, and I'm just kind of enjoying it while I still can before, again, <laughs> school starts. At least I'm not going to a university, because, you know, that's just a way to get a job under someone else, and that just doesn't seem like the way to go for me. So, I don't know about you all, though. Everyone has their preferences. I will say that. Everyone has their preferences. I do have glass here. However, I don't think I have any extra glass. Wow. Wow. There is no extra glass. We're going to have to go across the ocean here just to get glass. Oh, and also, do I have dirt? You know what, let me just steal some uh, sand off the, the neighbors here. I'm sure they wouldn't care. Okay, well, we got the glass. That wasn't too hard. I thought we were going to have to travel across the ocean and get sand that way because there is an area over there where I can get sand. There's also the lighthouse, which there's a lot of sand over there as well. But I'm not really interested. And we got a couple of windows done. I just need like one more singular glass block to finish that up. And then that house will be done. Literally. I'm not joking. That house will literally be done. It will be done. And I say it's already smelted by now. Wow, we got some extra. You know what? I'm just going to let that smell. Who cares? Who cares? I got glass. I can finish up this house. So. And then we're going to need to build a another house. Because I am not going to leave this house just sitting here alone. It needs a friend. So, let me go ahead and do this really quick. Can y'all not... Okay, now the big question is, is what blocks are am I going to use for this house? That's a good question. We could use spruce logs, but let's see. Eh, no. We could probably get like a load of spruce logs. Speaking of, there's all kinds of spruce trees around here. Let's just go ahead and just, just literally chop those down because we, we, we need them. And there I go repeating stuff again. I'm doing a lot better, but still, I get a little ahead of myself at times, and that's when I tend to repeat things or reiterate them in ways. So, we definitely don't want to do that. We need to really improve and help prevent that, and then sheep get out of the way. I, I literally hate sheep and cows. They are so mean. They just don't care. I'm trying to think of how we're going to build this house now. Hmm. Hmm, I am really thinking about this one. I think we're going to build it right here. So I'm going to go one, two, one, two, and then what should be the, you know what, we're going to just use cobblestone. Why not? Da, da. Wait, oh, okay, we definitely need more spruce logs. Yeah, we're going to just go with spruce logs and cobblestone, and then we're going to do a fancy roof. So we're going to really pop off with this one. I'm going to have to go back to the house and see if I have any spare spruce logs. 
Which again, it's it's never a bad thing to run out. You know, we'll we'll probably have to go back and forth, back and forth at times, and that tends to happen. It's never a bad thing, but it would be a lot more convenient if we just had extra spruce logs, which we don't have. And I'm very big sad now, because you know what that means. I'm going to have to travel all the way out somewhere to get daggone spruce logs. Because I don't want to chop these trees down here. Because, you know, they're really here for decoration. They're just here to stay. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to chop down the spruce trees because they're so cute. I like them better than the oak trees. But the oak trees are pretty, pretty OG. We, we leave them alone. So, I gotta go out here past beyond the construction site where the trade school is. A little far out there to get to the spruce biome that's actually not that far. I don't think it's really that far, but again, at the same time, I may, may be over-exaggerating it. But who knows? I guess I'll find out when I get out here. Okay, well, we've made it to the spruce biome that I was talking about, and this is a really, really unique piece of geography that we are looking at here. Check that out. Even has a little DLC hanging from it there. All right. Ah. Uh, okay. Let's get this one now. It's kind of short. No, it's not short. It's tall. We'll have to get further up here. Yep, see. My blocky ass arms ain't gonna be able to reach up there if I don't build up. So, <laughs> yeah, we gotta kind of do that at times. It happens. It happens. It's part of being a being a gamer. Part of being a gamer, we gotta always try to find a, another way to overcome obstacles, especially when there is very little to work with. Well, I don't know what else to say other than uh, I'm gonna play music over. My little travel montage here as I also am getting ready to absolutely eviscerate these cows from this very reality that I set foot in. Because they're they're annoying and they're mean. Alright. Well. That was quite a session that we had. But I am now prepared to show you all the final results for both houses. I'm going to turn around slowly, and voila, there we go, two new houses. This house, small, cozy, not bad, not bad at all. And then this house, right here, it big. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say, it big. We need to make an upstairs for it though, but I think this alone is just as fancy as it gets. It's so nice. I love how the spruce logs were able to help highlight themselves from the floor here. I think the sandstone flooring actually helped with this house by a long run. So, two houses, new houses in fact, done. I would like to build another one right in that area and maybe as a matter of fact extend the retention walls to go all the way to right there so I know something that will help me remember that and I think I'm going to place a glass block in a torch or two of them and then a torch so that's going to be our reference point for when we extend the retention walls the next time. Now, I would like to start building a memorial for my achievement in life, the trade school. Because I don't think building a trade school by the end of this July is going to be possible. Because that's going to take a lot of effort. We might do it another time. But that's definitely something to keep in mind because I'm thinking of doing it 
and I'm going to plan out a lot more with it. I'm going to draft out where the rooms are going to go and so on because that that there is going to take a lot of planning. It's going to need a schematic and everything like that. So I feel like the trade school could probably be like more over there while this area right here could be for pixel art because I think pixel art is going to be really nice for this world because it's, you know, if you make a Minecraft world, you 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 really cannot forget to do pixel art. Like, come on. Come on. Like, you cannot. So, we're going to definitely do that. We're going to make pixel art here. And we're going to make a memorial or some sort of a monument for my big achievement. And we're going to make it out of, you guessed it, lapis. And I have a lot of lapis stored in the piston vault or the lapis shrine. Blue Raisin Shrine, as I call it. And I know some of you all that have watched me for a while remembers the freakouts I had when I first started making videos when I came across Lapis. Yeah. I remember those days, too. It doesn't seem like that long ago, but it's actually been a year since I started my first series. And I'm going to continue on with this one because we're going to get... A lot more done with this world. I'm going to try to see if I can get it to 100 episodes or something. Which, as a matter of fact, we're on episode 42. That's kind of getting close to 50. And I also, thinking of, I actually need to get my minecart back <laughs> from up there because a cow had stole my minecart. Took off with it. So it's probably still stuck up there. So, with all of that said, I think we also need to look at something else before we end this video. So, I'm going to walk over here and I'm going to show you all what I've been doing. Because there is going to be another part of the town extended over here. It's going to be right over here. I was talking about it and I was clearing it all out with like the TNT and whatnot. The blast zone. And the blast zone was where I went and blew up a lot of like land and stone, dirt, all that. Gathering materials pretty much. And my mouse just kind of spazzed out there a minute. Get out of my way. Now, you can see the stone. But how much have we gotten done over this time yeah we're gonna get a lot of dirt and we're gonna be filling this all up I'm gonna have to wipe that out and flatten it get all get rid of all of that mountain all gone make it all flat and then we're gonna make a river and add retention walls there make a bridge going across and there's gonna be another part of the town this is gonna be the second and this is gonna be a third part of the town it's gonna be like districts the high end district, over there, medium tier, low tier. I'm gonna make like wooden huts. Or probably even make houses from the Minecraft Xbox 360 tutorial worlds, but I feel like those belong over there. We may actually do that. <laughs> yeah, we may actually do that. So, this, this is also in the works. So I look forward to getting this done as well. But yeah, I believe that's all I really have to say for this video. So if y'all want to see more, just be sure to like and subscribe. And if y'all haven't, just be sure to check up on my earlier episodes. If you all are interested and you want to get a bit more context for what's going on here. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed. And just, you know, be sure to check up on my music channel, my MIDI archive. Because I am making music for that and also doing remixes so if you all are interested check that out too but i hope you all enjoy and you have a wonderful day and i will see you all later